I grew up during the Depression. See, the Robinson family did for me, cared for me, treated, corrected, and sacrificed for me, just like you all have done. The Robinson family, see, I didn't walk like other children until I was four years old. I began to snap out of it. Four years old! Mama Sylvia Robinson. I called her Robinson's family mama. I didn't call my own mother mother. See, mostly in the 30s, I lived uh, southwest Washington. Okay. You know where the capital is? Yep. You know where the botanical gardens is? Yep. But bot- I lived down in that area. Yeah, see, it's all government now. The government buildings in the area where I used to live. Then we moved to southeast. The Robinsons, we all lived together. It was a family affair. I had to register for the draft in 1945, I think. I was in the military from 45 to 47. See, that's when they started drafting 18 year olds. See, I didn't want to go in the military. Yeah, actually, when they're issuing your stuff in the military, what were you, Smith or whatever you call me, you willing to fight for your country? And I said it, I didn't say it like I meant it. They asked me, who was segregated against, are you willing to fight for your country? Yeah, I told him, you know, I couldn't say no. But to ask a black man, a black American who was born in this country, to is he willing to fight for his country and he's facing segregation? The National Theater downtown, they show stage shows there. Black American couldn't go there. I couldn't go there. You couldn't go there. There's certain places here in Washington, once upon a time, you, we know we didn't vote here in Washington. I went to the Philippines and I went to Okinawa. I was 10 months overseas. 18 days to go over, 14 days to come back. When I was living on 14th Street Northwest, when Bobby Kennedy and Dr. King got shot, I followed Dr. King, because that day when President Kennedy got shot, I was on a job out at the Naval Hospital Bethesda. I didn't, I didn't hit another, I didn't hit another lick, lick of work that same day. I was felt so heartbroken. See, he was a, he was the president that was, was for poor people. Right now, racism still exists in this country. Right now, at the present time, you see, just like Dr. King said. My four children will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the contents of their character. In the 70s, I think that's when little Eddie, his mother name was Eddie, his mother name was Scott, little Eddie Scott. So Eddie Scott stayed in the hospital a while, and then he got sick and died. The baby got sick and died. Yeah, he didn't have a chance. I think he caught pneumonia or something, a baby catching pneumonia. But Eddie didn't stand a chance. Eddie died as a baby. The, ba- the baby was younger than eight months. Your baby's eight months, mm-hmm. younger than eight months. Well, I retired in 81. Retired in 81. Laid off a year, then a buddy of mine got me a part-time job. I was working in an office building, minimum wage. 370. 370. Now learn, what can you do with 370? <laughs> 370. Uh-uh. When I met Janelle, it was during the celebration of uh, David Rupke's birthday. He turned 25 at the time. I think it, well, I met your wife in 2001. And they were in the Hades, and I was sitting across from your wife. It was at the right place at the right time. It's like Brian Bonamales, right mm-hmm. place at the right time. See, a man really attending WCF Church for the first time in his life, he can learn a lesson in WCF Church. I really, I, I enjoyed it, and I liked the people there. I had made up my mind when I was attending six months without a miss, I said, this is the church for me. Outside the church, the on top of the steeple, inside the church, the nicest people. Well, WCF Church is the best thing to ever happen to me since sliced bread, WCF Church. Such nice people. See, some of the nicest people that I've ever met in my life are there at WCF Church. I love doing business with the children, and I spoil some of the people's children in there, and I do, I don't mind. <laughs> I just give them chocolates, cookies, or fruit. You, you got anything for me, Mr. Will? The children, they just, they look for me. Yep, oh, they're children, I don't mind that. I'm going to lay it on them this Sunday. <laughs> it's really a pleasure to share the treasure. And the reason that I love children so much is because I was raised by a family who did for me, cared for me, treated, corrected, and sacrificed for me, the Robinson, before I ever knew them. Did for me before I ever knew who they was.